uh, tell you more about Cebu. This is actually, we can actually call it many ways. You can call it Cebuano or Visayan, Subuanon, Bisaya, Binisaya, Bis, Bisayang Subuanon, Sinubuanong Binisaya, or Sinubuano. So there are so many ways to call the language. But of course, you can uh, choose to use whatever is more comfortable for you. And the easier one would be Bisaya or Cebuano. Um, so I am, I am from Cebu. My father is from Cebu. My mother is from uh, Mindanao, uh, which is an Iligan city. Uh, both provinces are, or cities are using the Bisayan or the Cebuano language. And uh, a lot of people actually speak the language. There are about 27 million native speakers as of 2020. Um, so if you get to know the language, you'll be able, it will be very helpful for you when you go to the Philippines. Um, it might be interesting for you to know that Cebu can also be called Sugbu, okay? Uh, so if you say Sugbu, people would actually understand that you're talking about Cebu. So, uh, Sugbu uh, or Cebu actually originated from the word Cebu or Cebu. Uh, there's just a difference uh, in the, the, the last letter, which is U and O, but the pronunciation are just the same, uh, which means trade. Now, I will, be, I will be teaching you how to introduce yourself in Cebuano. So, uh, when you're introducing yourself in Cebuano, um, there are actually several ways, so you can just choose which one is more comfortable for you to use. Let's start with this one. Unsa imungan. So um, you might be interested to know that in Cebuano, uh, we often like to contract words. So even if the words are not that long, uh, not that long, we try to contract them to e make them even shorter. So for example, in the word pangalan. Pangalan means name, okay? So, unsa imong pangalan? That is actually, what's your name? But in Cebuano, um, most particularly in Cebu City, we can, uh, we shorten pangalan into ngalan and even shorter into ngan. Okay, so, it becomes unsa imong ngan or unsa imong ngalan or unsa imong pangalan. So, whichever you use, that can still be understood uh, very well by the Cebuanos. So, maayo, maayo, maayo means good. Okay? So, when someone said maayong buntag, that actually means good morning. Good morning. And we have mudto or udto, that means noon. Palis means early afternoon. Hapon is afternoon. Gabi is night or evening. Okay. Okay. Maayong buntag, Miss Sunny. Maayong buntag, Sab. Kumusta ka? Uh, maayo man. Salamat. Salamat, Sab. Miss Sunny. Miss Sunny. If right. you can notice, as I've said a while ago, it's very easy to read Cebuano language uh, or sentences because they're very straightforward. So, once you see um, a double... Uh, a double vowel just like for example in maayo uh, so you read it as a separate syllable okay unlike in uh, english where in for example if we have a double e so you just read it as long e but in this case you have to read it per syllable so when you see uh if you see a vowel that should be read as one syllable so in this case ma a yong so that makes it one, two, three, four, five syllables just in this sentence. So the same with ma a yung gabi e. So you can see here there are two eyes. We do not read them as one, but we read them as two separate syllables. So that becomes ga bi e. So in Sabuano, uh, one to ten is normally counted in the Cebuano, the Cebuano language. But if you go over that one, we normally use the Spanish, the Spanish numbers. Uh, we have here 
usa, duha, tulo, upat, lima, unum, pito, walo, siam, napulo. Who wants to start with the table? Pila kini kabuo. Pila kabuo ang la mesa. Miss Annie, maybe you can try first. Okay, so two, four, six. Unum ka la mesa. Right, thank you so much. Unum ka la mesa. Thank you. Jones, please, with notebook. Notebook is called cuaderno in Cebuano. Five. Um, lima ka cuaderno. Yes, that's right. Miss Sunny, with siya.